to export, go to file, then export. Then choose the option for safe version 12 or later. A dialog box will pop up asking which level of the structure you want to export. Since we're working on the foundation, we always select the base level. If we were designing a slab instead, we would choose a different floor level. But for foundations, we always export the base level. Now in the export settings, we have three options for how loads are transferred. Export floor loads only. This only includes the loads acting on the selected level, which is useful for slab design. Export floor loads and loads from above. This includes loads from the selected level, as well as all levels above it. This is what we need for foundation design because we want to capture all the forces transmitted down to the foundation. Export floor loads with deformations. This exports not just the loads but also deformations of columns and shear walls. This option isn't typically used for foundation design so we'll stick with the second option. The final step in the export process is selecting which load cases and load combinations we want to transfer. Load cases include dead loads, live loads, snow loads, earthquake loads, and other relevant forces. Apart from these, there are also response spectrum analysis load cases, but we don't need to transfer those to SAFE. We also need to include the correct load combinations, which are the same ones used in the structure's design. Later in the course, we'll define additional combinations for soil pressure checks. But for now, we'll just export the existing ones. Once everything is set up, we click OK and save the export file. I'll name it Safe Model and save it.